Hello everybody and nice to see you again at Nail Talk Live, coming from the heart of Netherlands for you, the passionate nail technician. And tonight we have a full program, we have yep. a full week, yes. we have a full year. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, especially a full week. Especially, yeah. and why? Uh, because we are hosting a Nail Talk Live event and that is a big event we started last year, it was the first time, so this will be the second time and it's a lot of work but a lot of fun and a lot of new products and that's what we're going to talk about today. Yeah. Uh, why do we do the event? Well, uh, we do the event to uh, have nail techs feeling the passion for nails. Because we do, of course. And uh, well, what's, what's more nicer to see and feel than to, uh, to join a show and to see all demonstrations uh, to attend workshops, to attend uh, uh, readings, uh, well, everything about our great profession. Yeah. Yeah, and that's also why we make Nail Talk Live. Mm -hmm. Because the Nail Talk Live event this weekend has evolved from Nail Talk Live, this show. Yep. And because of the event, I asked the trainers that are demonstrating tonight to prefer, prepare designs using different combinations of techniques. And who, who do you have tonight? Well, we have, of course, Theresa. And Theresa is going to do an amazing design with wraps. Really easy and basic nail art, but a really cool uh, end result, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have Miriam, and she's going to show us a power gel nail with color boom. Uh, she does it in combination with gel polish. That's also really interesting yeah, to see how she's color. mixing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, cool. And we have, of course, Jessica of Queen of Nail Art, and she's going to show us a really beautiful flaming French with a little twist in it. And she has another design as well, and the eye of a tiger. Wow. Yeah, she does that with uh, cat eye pigments. Yeah, with huh? cat eye pigments. Yeah, so the eye yeah. is really following you wherever you go. Cool. I'm going to show you, together with Debbie, the new products that we launched uh, during the event. So we have a lot of ground to cover. Let's get started. So, let's start to talk a little bit more about the actual event that we're doing this weekend. Because when you are in Holland this weekend, the 14th and 15th of September, you are of course welcome to join us at the Nail Talk Live event in Nieuwegein at the NBC. And uh, some people ask us, why do we create our own event? Why do we uh, put so much effort in it? Yeah. Uh, and that's because when I started to become a nail tech 20 years ago, I went to a trade show. And I was so inspired looking at all of the demonstrations. I saw really great nail techs making wonderful designs. And that was actually the spark that lighted uh, the fire in me that um, led to me being a nail technician and later a nail trainer and now the CEO of Magnetic Nail Design. And unfortunately over time, due to the gel polish coming in 2011, uh, the technical skill of the nail technician slowly uh, became less and less, and less important also. Colors became important, but the technical skill uh, went to the back a little bit. And we wanted to give the nail technician that flame of inspiration back for them to enjoy their profession and to be a proud nail technician. But we cannot do that alone, we need partners for that. So we've mm -hmm. uh, contacted uh, companies here in Holland, professional companies, yep. and we have different partners. So let's talk a little bit about partners, Debbie. Yeah. Um, well, a couple of partners um, that are well known in the Netherlands is like uh, we have, of course, Nailit. Nailit is a brand; it's a new brand into yeah. the market. Mm -hmm. um, but the people behind it, they are like, well, go way back into. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of the, I think, the ground setters of nail styling uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, Jose, who's uh, the owner of Nailit, uh, together with Richella. And um, they, um, yeah, they are one of the partners that have like just a small range of products in very good quality of products, uh, in uh, manicure, uh, acrylic gel, and uh, gel polish, of course. Yeah. And we have also Nil Over. Nil Over is um, uh, also a brand of Mariana van der Sande. Uh, of course, Nil Over is very, I think. It's very known by in the whole of Europe. 
Yeah, so it's uh, an Italian it's brand. Yeah, it's it's also a new brand, but it's it's well known already. And um, she is also there with her team to show her fantastic design. She's very skilled, and she can make some awesome technical nails. Mariana was also one of our guests uh, in the show. Yeah. Uh, showing us how to work with products. She's a really gifted nail technician. Yeah. Yeah. And she really knows her stuff. Yeah. Uh, of course, we have other partners yeah, as well. Yeah, we have, of course, Crystal Nails, which is known for all over Europe, uh, with Rilana. Rilana is also a very gifted uh, and talented nail tech. She makes gorgeous extreme shapes uh, and is also a brand which is, uh, well, a, a full brand, a completed brand. They have nail art, they have acrylics, they have gels, they have gel polishes, they have all sorts of products uh, also very professionally uh, made and also they have beautiful marketing material. Yeah. Yeah. And we have artistic nail designs. Yes. Uh, with Annika and uh, artistic nail design is also of course a brand which is known uh, through Europe and even out. Yes, Europe. it's an American mm -hmm. brand. American mm -hmm. brands, yeah. And Anneke is also, well, let's say, one of the Dutch legends in the yeah. nail technicians. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She already started in 1993 for yeah. the Dutch version of Nail Talk Live. I had interviews with all of them yeah. talking about how they look at the nail industry and what their goal is for the mm -hmm. coming years. Because the nail industry is, of course, you, the nail technician, but also the people that train the nail technicians, the people behind the brands, it all goes hand in hand together. And together we create this beautiful market, this beautiful profession. Yeah. But we have a couple of other people. Uh, one of them is MNF Academy, and MNF Academy is one of our Dutch distributors. Mm -hmm. And uh, Shiriza Klein, the person that does the wraps tonight, but also the beautiful other nails, she is their main trainer. Yeah. And we have Tooth Fairy from Switzerland. She, well, Holly is originally Canadian, and it's for teeth whitening. And the straws. And the, and the rhinestones. Yeah, the <laughs> rhinestones. <laughs> your teeth. And last but not least, we have um, Skin Consult. S skin Color Cosmetics. Yes. Skin Color Cosmetics, and they have their own makeup line. So it's a full package for the nail technician. Yeah, I'm really oh excited cool. about the makeup line because they do like uh, uh, color uh, tests mm -hmm. uh, to see which makeup matches the best. Uh, so you, as a lady, have always can wear the most perfect foundation and blushers. Cool. Which yeah. is always difficult. Yeah. yeah. Because sometimes I go <laughs> and buy a foundation and I go out of the shop and I look like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyhow, it's not about me. Um, we, of course, also exhibit ourselves, yep. magnetic mm -hmm. nail design, and this time we decided not only to have our own stand, but also a specific stand for air nails, our airbrushing system, a specific stand for seduction, and a specific stand for gel polish advice. Yep. Before we go on, I'll just show you that in Holland we even have now the first edition of the Nail Talk Live magazine. And of course, this is in Dutch, but it's a magazine that we created. Well, actually, Lisanne behind the scenes created this. It just arrived. I just wanted to show you this. And tonight, I'm going to show you all of the new products. And we will talk a little bit more about yep. what we will do this weekend. Yep. Before we do that, we go to Jessica Papberg and her flaming French. Hey, this weekend it's the Nail Talk Live event again. Of course I'm going to be there. So cool. I'm looking forward to it. I will demonstrate air nails during the Nail Talk Live event and I like to combine techniques. So I'm going to demonstrate that tonight. It's super quick. So come to my demo table at the event and I will demonstrate these designs and give you a kick-ass air nail design. Let's start. First, I will apply the air nails masking. I made a base of butterscotch gel polish, two layers, and I buffed it to a matte surface. Apply the deep French air nails masking and push it down really well with your thumb. I'm first going to make an ombre on the nail bed using the red air nails paint. Spray it slightly, creating an ombre effect on the nail bed. 
I'm going to use a little bit of deep Bordeaux to create more depth in the center of the smile line so it's actually a three color fading. Just a little bit. Anel's paint dries very quickly so you can just take off the stencil and reapply it on top of the smile line that you sprayed before. I just put it down on the table for ease of application. Apply it symmetrically and because the air nails paint is dry you don't risk removing it when you remove the stencil. I'm gonna create a French manicure and for this I'm gonna use black air nails paint and I'm making a black French manicure. You can easily spray it on and it's done. Now I remove the air nails masking using my pointed tweezers and as you can see the design is already awesome. Now I'm going to add some flames using black master paint. Coming from the free edge on top of the nail bed. This gives it a little bit more edge making it a tough cool chick design. A little bit of rock and roll and a little bit more yes. Of course, you probably assume that I don't like French, but this type of French manicure I would love to wear. Just add the flames here and there to create a nice visual design. And as you can see, I don't really thin out my master paint because I want to create a deep dark lines. I would finish this with base and top gel and then I would use the extreme matte over it because I love the matte effect. And this is the result. Now how super cool it's vibrant and rock and roll chic. Later in the show I'll show you another design but then with our new cat eye pigments. Well, actually, it's a new way of working with the cat eye pigments. So, see you later! So, that's a cool design. Really, really awesome with the flames and everything. Uh, and you can actually combine the air nails and the master paints really in a perfect way. We have the master paints in many different colors, so you can also make like a, a shade or a fading with, the, with, with of course, the master paints, which, which makes it an even more greater design. Uh, Jessica, she told you already, she will show you another design later during the show. Uh, but, uh, uh, well, and I'm going to talk about the prize you can win also later on in the show. But first, it's time, I think we go to Pepine and Debbie. Let's go. Yes, I'm going to show to you all of the new magnetic nail design products because every season we launch a lot of new products so we have a, have a lot to talk about and to show you and sometimes people think that the development of new products is very quick, that it takes a short time and that you really have to be on spot on trend always and of mm -hmm. course that's the case mm -hmm. but the proper development of products take s about 42 weeks because you have to test the stability of the product, mm -hmm. you have to test the packaging, create artwork, use the products of course, uh, see how the products age. So there's a lot to do with the development of new products. But I'm going to show them to you and we're going to discuss them. And yes. the first one that we're going to discuss is Shirita's Sweeties. Yes, and Sharisa, she's a trainer of Magnetic and also a host from Nil Talk Live. And she has a special request because she wanted to have colors that she could use for everything. For nail art, maybe one coat application, for sugaring. And that was her most demand was that it has no sticky layer. So yeah. that's what we created for her. Yeah, we started yeah. with 12 shades. Mm -hmm. Uh, five um, nude shades, uh, just uh, creams and beige and white. And we have uh, seven more honky-tonky shades, as we call them. So, uh, beautiful for nail art, but you can use them as a full color overlay as well. Beautiful. So, you're going to show us... How to do sugaring, to do because sugaring. what is sugaring, Daddy? Well, sugaring is actually when you're using like pigments or sometimes acrylic powder or acrylic powder with glitters and pigments uh, on top of a wet gel polish or a wet gel. Um, you s 
yeah, you throw it on top of the wet yeah. gel before you cure it, and then you get like a real rough surface. It feels like sugar. Yeah, yeah, a little bit coarse. A little bit coarse, yeah. Almost like the surface of a file. Yeah. And um, the cool thing with sugaring is that, uh, well, the cool thing of Charisse Sweeties is that they don't have a sticky layer, and that makes them ideal to use for sugaring, because um, otherwise, if you use a gel that has a sticky layer, it, it, it becomes a little bit dirty over time, because it still attracts, attracts dust yeah. and, and, and dirt. So you really need something without a sticky layer. As I said, you can use these full color, uh, but only on a hard surface. So don't use them on the natural nail, mm -hmm. but on a hard gel, or an acrylic, or a building base, but a really sturdy surface, because otherwise it may crack a little bit. Mm -hmm. But let's see. I created already the base of my design, which is just a simple rose on the corner, and I'm now going to use a complementary color, a little bit lighter. And I'll just show you what I'm doing. I'm using a detailer number three brush, which is fairly big, but then I'm at least able to create out the rose petals. Yeah, you can take some more product with it because it's slightly bigger. Yeah, yeah. and you can see that it beautifully stays in place. Mm -hmm. The consistency is very stable. Yes, it's, it's very, very creamy. creamy. Yeah. Very strongly pigmented. You could even just leave it there and create a, another one if you wanted to, but let's not jinx it. <laughs> Just the outline of the rose. And the thing is that before curing this, you have to add your sugar look. Mm -hmm. So I have my little container. I have my sugar look. We have two uh, different sugar looks. We mm -hmm. have a fine and a coarse. This is the fine version. And you just apply this over the gel. Just let it absorb because it's, of course, a little bit thicker. Yeah. And now I'm going to reapply it. And then you can cure this. Mm -hmm. If you want to continue the design, you just freeze cure it for 10 seconds. But if you wanted to, um, if this is it, then you cure it for one and a half minutes. Because Charisa Sweeties have to be cured one and a half minutes for full cure. And you can okay. really make everything you can yeah. Imagine. And you just need one coat when you want a full color, or do you advise to use two color coats? Well, I tried it. Well, these ones are one coat. This is just one full coat, mm -hmm. but of course on a plastic tip, on yeah. the tip, so mm -hmm. it's always easier to get it adhering. If you are using it on a client, I would definitely recommend to use two coat application to prevent um, excessive shrinkage of the products and to make sure that it really stably mm -hmm. attached to the surface of the nail. Then the first coat you cure for about 30 seconds, halfway, and then you reapply a second coat on top of that and you cure that for one and a half minutes. No top gel. Okay. Just client can leave straight away after paying her surface, of course. So it's not necessary to uh, fully cure the first coat all the way up to the one no. and a half minutes? No, as okay. long as it's really settled. Mm -hmm. So don't be over anxious and do it after five seconds, but about half cure. Half cure. Okay. And then I would prefer or would recommend to use a s relatively soft brush mm -hmm. because Charisse Sweeties are quite thin. They have a low viscosity mm -hmm. and you want to really Apply it like a cream. Mm -hmm. Does it matter if you use uh, like real hair or synthetic hairs? It doesn't really matter as long as you're not going to push on it. Okay. Sometimes some nail technicians have a tendency to really push mm -hmm. on the surface and then you get lines. Mm -hmm. You really have to smooth it out. Like cuddling yes. with the nail. Yes, cuddling <laughs> the, the nail. nail. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let's imagine what that could lead to. <laughs> okay, next thing. Yes, uh, we also have, of course, new brushes. Yes. And these are the favorite brushes of our three most famous trainers. Yes, the choice we ask our trainers for to give us their favorite brushes. And so we created three of them. I have them here in my hand. And I'll just show you the difference in size. So I have here Katerina's choice, which is very short, Jessica's choice, and this longer one is Pepin's choice. These brushes are made of synthetic hair, mm -hmm. and that is really great when you s want to work with a black gel, a liner gel, or a color gel, mm -hmm. because 
it, it's, uh, it really stays in the needle of the brush, mm -hmm. so enabling you to create beautiful designs. I will use this, of course, also later in the show when I yep. want to create little details. And you'll also see the different trainers using the brushes. Um, for instance, uh, Shiriza really loves to use it to apply the perfect gel polish application around the cuticle. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, actually, we gave Jessica her brush during a trainer meeting at headquarters, mm -hmm. and she was really happy. So we start selling these this, this weekend. This weekend, excited. Yes. And that's not the only thing. No, 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 no. no we no, have no, so no. much more. <laughs> Colors. Colors, of course. Rocking Metallics, our new uh, collection. Uh, one of our new collections, like every season. Um, like you told us before, it takes a lot of time in order to create a new collection. And this is, I think, a, well, a little bit of a funky autumn collection. Yeah. Yeah. The development of new color collections takes about a year, sometimes one and a half years, uh, because you have to check lookbooks, uh, check uh, what's happening in fashion, uh, then it's also very regionally uh, divided. So we are in Northern Europe, and in Northern Europe people really want something else than in Southern Europe. Mm -hmm. Southern Europe needs to be flashy and, and, oh, and Northern Europe a little bit cooler. So it's always difficult to make the right decision, and this time we, I think we got it right. We have three metallic shades that we will show you, and four matte shades. Yes. So the first one is this beautiful blue, Presley blue. Here you can see it's shiny, matte finished, with a glitter spray, like sugar, and here with a foil. Then we have here also a beautiful one. Alke, can you help me with the name? It's Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry, Berry Red. Shiny, matte, with a flake and with a glitter. And this is my favorite mm -hmm, color, the too. purple one, purple beetle. And we here we have it shiny, matte, with a flake, and again with sugar. Beautiful. Great colors. And really a must-have for your salon this coming season. Great, but that is not all. No. <laughs> no, we have our shears by yes. Seduction, yeah. that complete the Seduction line. They're beautiful, natural tones. Shears, yeah. uh, semi-transparent, and in different kind. Yeah, I think it's a different warmth in there. Some of some cooler, some of a little bit warmer, depending, of course, of the natural nail plate. Well, there I can tell you a fun thing about this. We made these specifically by demand of our Russian distributor, Marina Fialko. She is very active in Russia. She caters to a lot of beauty salons, and they are asking for semi-transparent nude shades. So we created the Shears Seduction by Magnetic. Four shades to start with, and I have them here in my hand. And they are semi to medium transparent. We have Spring Blossom, which is really transparent. These ones are a little bit more covering, white, and a type of a nude shade. Mm -hmm. So beautiful colors. And what is especially beautiful is the packaging, because these bottles are recognizable by the beautiful, a little bit seduction shade. The name is also printed on the bottles. And beautiful. you have to apply these in one to two coats. Mm -hmm. uh, two coats for a little bit more coverage. Um, it depends on the wishes of the client. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And from semi sheer and nude colors, we go to the uh. summer memories. And the summer memories are mud shades. We have four different ones. And we have a deep sea blue. We have a flaming fuchsia. I will just take them one by one in screen. So what you can now see is the flaming fuchsia, a beautiful fuchsia tone. Here we have the deep sea blue, also beautiful. Here we have uh, the peacock petrol, which is actually the color that I use to create my new poster image for magnetic. And fl flaming orange. We are from Holland, and in Holland, uh, our royal family is the house of orange. <laughs> and so we love orange, especially in competition times. So these colors just give you back the memories of uh, summertime, mm -hmm. warm shades, very creamy, very easy to apply. 
The consistency of the magnetic gel polish is also great. I'll just show you one so that you can see what a consistency is if you apply it on a nail. So I have here already a color pop somewhere. I put them here in my little drawer. Here we have it. I'll use the fuchsia. What is important is not to apply the gel polish too thick. Mm -hmm. Next week we'll do a whole show about gel, gel polish, polish. Yes. Because uh, one of the things that when it goes wrong, it's because the gel polish is applied too thick. Uh, so what you have to do is if you have your bottle, really use the neck of the bottle to prevent excess gel polish from being in your brush. Mm -hmm. Then if the brush is cleaned, then you go back and use one side of the bottle just to get the correct amount of gel polish. Yes, you'll see often that there is that they use way too much gel polish. Uh, it will run into the cuticles and into the side walls. And it will not cure. And as you can see on screen, even a very small mm -hmm. amount still covers beautifully. Yes, it's beautifully pigmented. And it's always better to use two thin coats than one thick coat. I totally agree. Totally agreeing. Well, and you're in the Fuchsia, and we have, uh, of course, Miriam. And Miriam had have made some beautiful color boom, and she used Fuchsia as well. Today I'm going to show you how to create a color boom with power gel. I'm going to use power gel clear and I'm going to mix this with the flaming fuchsia gel polish which is a new shade and I'm going to use the power gel extender. First I'm going to create a clear base layer on the extension. I just put this up against the natural nail and make it very thin and very smooth. This is only the base for the nail. When you're happy with the thin layer of clear, cure it for 30 seconds in the twin light. I'm mixing with my spatula the power gel clear with the flaming fuchsia gel polish. Don't really stir or turn, but freely spatula it in to prevent air bubbles. When you're happy, take your power gel mixture. Of course, you can mix all your colors ahead of time and save these in your paint ballot box. Take a little bead of power gel mixture and then apply it on the free edge. I'm going to divide that using my power gel brush, a little bit of prep and white from left to right, from sidewall to sidewall. I make sure that the hairline of the nail is a little bit thicker and where the power gel meets the natural nail, it is thinner. This first coat of color I'm going to cure for one and a half minutes and then I'm going to apply a second coat of color power gel because with the second bead I'm going to create the color fading. After the first coat has been cured I'm going to apply a second coat to create the fading. I'm going to apply this bead of product in between the natural nail and the pink part of the free edge. Now I'm going to divide this product towards the cuticle, very thin. So using my brush, I'm first dividing it from left to right, keeping the thickness where it is. Now I'm angling my brush at a 45 degree angle, pushing it into the natural nail, creating the fading. And I'm pressing it into the natural nail. The excess of product I'm going to blend out towards the hairline of the nail, creating an even transition of product. After the application of the second coat, it goes back into the twin light for one and a half minutes. Now I'm going to use power gel extender to create the nail bed and the fading towards the free edge. First work towards the cuticle at a 45 degree angle to create the cuticle seal. 
With power gel, it's always important to push and pull. So I'm going to push it down and I'm going to slightly pull it over the total bodily of the nail, creating the ombre effect. The same technique you can use with Baby Boom or with color acrylics. This extender application goes into the light for one and a half minutes and I'm going to remove the sticky layer with prep and wipe. Make sure that the side walls are loose from the skin to prevent discomfort for the client. File the lower arch lines. I do this with a 180 grit side of my emery board. Then with the zebra 180 grit file, I'm filing the shape of the nail. I'm going to finish this nail at the cuticle area using an expert bit at 30,000 RPMs, after which I'm going to buff it with an hygienic buffer. Make sure that the product goes smoothly into the natural nail. This prevents lifting and ensures a longer wear. Use the hygienic buffer to smooth the surface. Remove the dust using a manicure brush and sharpen the lower arch lines using a sapphire file. When the nail is finished, you can choose any top gel of your choice. You can use matte top gel, diamond dust for a little shimmer, but I'm choosing the pearly pink. The pearl pink supreme finish. Needs to be cured for one and a half minutes in the twin light. After this is cured, there is no sticky layer and this is the end result. A beautiful fading color boom. Do you want to know more about the new products? And do you want to see what the possibilities are? I will show you everything during the Nail Talk Live event. Come and ask all your questions. Thank you for watching and see you next time. So another multi-usage way of the gel polish colors. Well, my favorite gel polish color is actually, well, I have actually two. A uh, hot pink for summer and Jungle Jane on heels for winter, which is a really army, dark army green color. But I also love the full collection of the Naughty on My Nails collection. And well, you know, there are even more colors that I like, but those are really my two favorites. Did you know that Jessica is also the person that creates the stamping plates? Together with Lisanne, we have two new ones that are coming up. A lace collection, vintage lace and masquerades. And in the masquerades, you also see, like uh, Jessica is calling them, the pingle pangeltjes. The small necklace details and they are really, really gorgeous stamping plates. And you see it next to it, but I have it here live in a unicorn shine. I really, truly love this one. This is the book to put in your stamping plates. And you can put in 24 stamping plates in the full book when using just one piece of the thingy all the time. It has a zipper inside, of course, with, of course, our beautiful magnetic logo. I really love this. Well, Jessica does not all only love the stamping, but she also loves to do the hand painting and she's going to paint some more with the master paints. Let's see. Hi, I'm back for my next design. This is also one of the designs I would love to show you and demonstrate on your nails at my demo table during the Nail Talk Live event. In this design, I will use different techniques and different products. We have the cat eye pigments. They are so cool and you can use them for psychedelic design together with your magnet, but you can also use them to make, as the name suggests, cat eyes. So, I'm going to show you how to create a cat eye, eye of a panther. Take a little bit of magic shine on my paper palette and with my detailer number three, I mix this with just a little bit of cat eye pigment. 
Just take a little bit and create the shape of the eye. Don't apply too thick, keep it nice and thin and make it not too small. Make it quite big because the design is only one eye and it needs to be visually interesting. Then I grab my magnet and I hold it in front of it. Let's check. Yes, I can see it. Then I cure it. Cure it for one and a half minutes. Then coat it with a top gel. And then I will buff it to a dull surface. And then I will continue painting the design using master paint. I'm using my master detailer brush. I first use the master paint ivory and I make a sketch as I usually do around the eyes, very lightly. A panther, most of the time, has a white sheen around the eye, like the hairs of the eye. Now I will use my black master paint and I'm going to highlight or low light the upper eyelid in quite an angled way to create more drama. Just determine how the eyelid is. Then I will do the under eyelid also with black master paint and again slightly angled, no soft lines. And I'm using my black master paint to create short eyelashes. When I'm creating a design like this, I go online and search for images, photos, paintings of panther eyes. The eye of the panther, what does it look like in real life? How does it build up? Now I will create the shape of my inner eye. In real life, the eyes of the panther are a little bit more angled, not really rounded. And they have a white banner around the eyes. I made the pupil of the eyes. Now I will focus on the white banner. But first little thin hairs creating the fuzziness around the eye. First above the eye, remember to hold your brush straight to the ceiling very lightly, almost like a pen. Every hair. And now I will go underneath the eye very soft and gentle strokes while I'm using the white I'm going to highlight the eye of course you can make a little dot but I will make a little line underneath the upper lid creating the highlight to liven the eye and just a little dot in the eye I want my white to pop out of the nail so, by using Master Paint Black, I'm going to repeat the tiny furry hair strokes around the eye, but underneath the white hairs of the fur. And you can see that the eye now really pops from the nail. Very short little strokes to create the eye. Underneath this design, you could use shimmers or pigments, glitters, just to give more visual interest. I will repeat this at the upper part of the eye and of course this is a lot of work a lot of effort so you do this on only one nail and you can combine it with for example the same colors like the brown tones on the other nails or combine it with red just a beautiful red shade and maybe even one or two black nails to give it a little bit more edge, to give it a little bit more attitude. Now the rest of the nail. Sometimes I play around with the background using gel polish and I create a twilight zone. This is a shadow banner around the cuticle and the side walls. Twilight zone. I take a little bit of brown master paint, very wet, place it at the top of the cuticle and with a little bit of water I blend it out. Don't be too precise, this is just to create more visual balance and to create a little bit more depth. Just swipe it out, move it out, use a little bit of water at the top of your brush 
and create depth in your design. You can add on if you desire. Now I will go back to my black master paint and I will cre create the black spots of the panther. But in reality they are little hairy strokes like spotted or blackened fur that you will quietly stroke on here and there. Just a little bit of black, some smaller ones. Then around the nose you go more straight, a little bit more longer. Create this with light movements. I will continue with the spots and when I'm finished then I will show you the end result. Ta-da! <laughs> well, it's finished. I finished using top gel. Let's have a look at the end result. When you move the nail, you can see that the eye is following you. How cool is this? I do recommend you use two coats of top gel to protect and seal everything and that it's really sturdy. This is a really cool eye, but you can also use other techniques. I have another one. Let's have a look. What do you think of this one? Isn't this awesome? I did this with air nails. Air nails together with hand painting and pigments. Visit me. Come to me at my table at the event. I need nails to demonstrate on. Wow, as always, it was absolutely beautiful. And from nail art, we're going to a slightly different thing, and that's more about technique, because we have some new forms, nail forms. And I know Magnetic already has one of the best forms in the market. However, we were still demanding in something a little bit more and a little bit different. And this is what you took up and you developed a beautiful high-tech new nail form. Yes, together with you, of course, Debbie, you yeah. do a lot of competitions. And nowadays in Europe, it's very important or many people are using something that we call nail form support. And that's an aluminum backing that you put underneath your form mm -hmm. to create a more a yeah, a, a deeper C curve that really stays in place, especially helpful when you work with gels. Yes, uh, well, not only with gels, also with uh, with acrylics. We we prevent to do some. Uh, we don't want to do some over pinching or maybe pinch too much uh, mm -hmm. to the natural nail. In order to have a very good form fitting and a good C curve in your form, you prevent that you will over pinch the natural nail and just have that great sculpted uh, C curve already. Yeah. And um, yeah, this form helps a lot with that. Yeah, it's a very special form with some very special characteristics. If we see it on top shot, as you can see here, it's quite long. I'll put it like this. It's a quite long form, and if you use it in this shape, you can use it for your stiletto mm -hmm. shapes, or your Russian almond, your extreme nails. However, when you look closely on the paper, you can see that here, the paper backing is open yep. and there is here a little perforated line mm -hmm. and that has a special reason. Mm -hmm. So I'll first take away the center part of the form. In the past we used to take the center part and put it underneath the yes. form, but that was like 20 years ago yeah. <laughs> before we became almost ancient. Mm -mm. The trick with forms is of course, especially nowadays, with when you want to angle the form slightly upward, mm -hmm. that the form fit at the hypernychium area needs to be perfect. Yes. That is this area of the form. So it's slightly deeper formed than yeah. the most forms we have in the market. Yeah. But the thing is that if you want to use this form and you want to fit your uh, contact area to mm -hmm. the natural nail, Often we have to take off the form of the paper mm -hmm. and then we hold the form on its sticky side and it loses its sticky adhesive layer. So what we developed is this separate backing that we can take out from underneath the form so that now the form is still here on the ears of the form, still covered mm -hmm. with the paper backing, but you can use the form to take the finger of the client and just try to see if this contact area fits the client, yes or no, without having or risking losing the adhesive 
strength of mm -hmm. the form. But now you think, perhaps, what is this little weird thing doing here? <laughs> well, this little weird thing, I think it's the invention of the year. <laughs> 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 because this little thing uh, completely um, comes in place for your nail, uh, nail support. So yeah. no uh, um, aluminium foils or uh, little extras to make your uh, form more stable. But you just have to fold this little thing. Yes. All Fold the way it back, back in. and you have it right there. So if you see it on top shot, here you can see that you just fold this in and then there is reinforcement throughout the entire length of the future free edge. So now all of a sudden we have a short form yes. suitable for square nails. Yes, suitable for square nails but with great reinforcement and you can do, yeah, you can sculpt really the perfect C curve with it. Now, if you want to apply the form, and I'll use your finger again, mm -hmm. of course, I'm not really seeing what <laughs> I'm doing, but then you fold back the pa pieces of paper like this, you angle it, you apply it, it sticks now, mm -hmm. I can pull this away, take it over, and just close the form. And you have a form strong enough to build a house on. Mm -hmm. okay. Very easy. And super stable. Super stable. As you can see, it also has some lines here on the side. That makes it easy um, when there are a lot of skin around the, the side walls. Or if you have a nail plate that's very deep, that's really lying in between mm -hmm. the side walls, you can take away those lines to get a more beautiful fit. Yeah. Yeah. But I think you will have to show that when you show your French manicure competition style nails. I will, absolutely. <laughs> and even though it sticks great, it also removes very easy. Just yes. open it up at the back. Because especially in competition when you make thin nails, you don't want to hassle too much with your no, form. Um, <laughs> when you're using, uh, when you're actually using some reinforcement, like um, aluminium reinforcement, the little metal tabs you have, for example, um, it's very hard to remove, especially when you're making very thin nails. Um, this is just paper, but gives you the same reinforcement, but it's very easy to remove. So yeah, it's perfect. A great form. We are very happy with it. Yeah. You, of course, were an active part in the development of yes. this form. <laughs> and we are introducing it this weekend. And just a must-have for everybody that works often with forms. Mm -hmm. The high-tech form by Magnetic. High-tech form. But we have more. Yes, of course we have more. Um, we love, I do love the nail plate extender, sculpting nail plate extender. It was a beautiful color. But we wanted some more variation in different colors. So we don't have the standard color, but we also have a cool tone and an extra warm tone. Yeah. I've put them here on the table, just under top view. This is our standard color, the middle one. Here we have the cooler shade that fits a lighter skin tone. Here we have the warm pink, which is actually a little bit more beige in mm -hmm. tone. So this is a little bit more brownish, and this is a little bit more pinkish. But it's really a stable gel, it's very strong. Mm -hmm. You can easily pinch, and you can create a beautiful, deep and elongated nail bed using these gels. Yes, love them. Yes, <laughs> me too. And then we have new liner gels, because liner gels, we also, have, of course, have a white and black liner gel, but now so we also have silver and gold. Yes, and these liner gels contain real gold and real silver, so that you create just beautiful, almost jewel-like nails. And here you can see them just wet in wet technique. You can use them as a French manicure, mm -hmm. and the packaging is just Beautiful. Gorgeous. So that you can see silver and gold containing real gold and real silver. Beautiful. And with we're staying in the glitters because we talked about sugaring before. And of course with the liner gel with glitters, we also have new glitter sprays. It's petrol, mauve and bronze. And as we can see on the camera. Just hold them so that they can move yeah. them a little bit. They're beautiful. And if you don't know our glitter sprays yet, they're a real spray that you can lightly spray, spray the surface of the nail. And of course, you can finish these shiny. You can use them as a sugar. 
-hmm. You can finish them mud. You can just add a little bit at the cuticle. Really versatile. And everybody likes a lot of uh, glitter. My motto is, when in doubt, just glitter. add glitter. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and then we have something new. Yes. And it's a little bit personal, this one, because... Um, I want to, I as you know, I do competitions, and what the most important thing about competition is to have that really high shine nail, and with no scratches at all. Even though if you use just nail polish or gel polish on top, your surface underneath needs to be smooth and almost scratch free. Now, in order to do that, you need a special buffer, and not all buffers are the same. You need a buffer to remove really the deep scratches and you need a buffer that removes the really small scratches. And we have developed this beautiful buffer. It's from the hygienic system, file system. And you can remove these pieces. Let me see if I can get yes, it on I'll the camera. I'll assist you. Uh, yes, assist me. <laughs> like this. As you can see, this is a 340 and a 1500 buffer. Uh, it's easy to remove when they use or for an next client or just to stay very clean. And the 340 makes it very easy for you to remove the deep scratches. Uh, when you do this, you can actually see the difference. Just try it out when you have a 180 grit or maybe even lower. But when you start with the 340 grit, your surface will be very smooth and you get no like scratches or an uneven surface, this one will buff it out. But if you want to go to the high shine, like the old fashioned way mm -hmm. high shine, um, it's very important to get even a st step further and then we have the 1500 buffer. And you can buff even oil into the nail. And it's not that the oil will penetrate the nail, but then it will help you to get even a more smoother surface and to get a really high shine. Yeah. Yeah. Which is uh, what is also important is the two millimeter yeah. foam yes. backing, because this enables the buffer to really grip around the natural yes. nail. And as we said, it's hygienic. Yeah. Perhaps you don't know yet what hygienic means, but that is that you can apply these. Yes. On you can top show it. the buffer. Like this. Yeah. And then you have your buffing. And when the client leaves, you can remove this. Easily as that. And then you ha have a hygienic way to yeah. work with all of your clients. Two weeks from now, in the show about bridal nails, we're mm -hmm. going to discuss the buffing of the natural nail, buffing nails to a super high shine, because in my opinion, it's a little bit a lost tradition. It is, it is. And uh, this, like I said, yeah, we used it a lot, of, of course, on acrylic nails, artificial nails, but this one you can easily use also on natural nails. Uh, 1500 and 340 buffers are perfectly safe to use and you can make a, a very smooth surface and it's beautiful for natural looking nails. Yeah. Yeah. They're relatively difficult to find though. Yes. It took a little bit of effort <laughs> to get the correct foam, the correct paper, the correct grit, I know. the correct thickness I'm sorry. of foam. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot to talk about when it goes uh, when it's about files. Yeah. But then you have something, right? But then you really have something. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's about time for our last demo, and that is Shiriza. Hello, nice to see you again. Today I'm going to show you what I will demonstrate during the Nail Talk Live event. Of course, I will just show a little bit of this demo. I hope you come to the event for the hands-on workshop to learn what you can do with wraps. I created a nail which is already dust-free. I cleaned it with prep and wipe and I'm going to choose the wraps. On these wraps we always have two small ones, two large ones and three medium. For the thumbnail I'm going to take the largest wrap and I'm going to cut this in the shape of the nail. Let's check. When I hold it next to the nail I can see that this wrap will probably fit very well. I cut it out and at the bottom part I leave a little bit of the white paper to be able to take the wrap off the paper. 
I can see that the upper part of the wrap doesn't really fit the roundness of the cuticle of my model, so I'm going to cut it a little bit in the same shape as the cuticle. So now I'm ready to apply my white base. I'm going to use gel polish white as white to create this base. White as white is very pigmented so you only need one coat of white as white. Make sure that you get an even application at the cuticle, but don't go too close to the cuticle. Cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, the white as white is cured. It's very important that the white is completely cured and it's important to keep a little free margin around the cuticle because of course you have your white as white, then you apply your base and top, then the wrap, then the top gel. We don't really have the space to put it very close to the cuticle. We're just working step by step towards the cuticle. I'm first applying a thin coat of base and top over the entire nail. I took off my glove because it's very difficult to work with wraps while wearing gloves. You need the feeling in your fingertips to work with wraps and to create an even surface. Cure this base and top for 10 seconds. It will not be completely cured because the wrap will move a little bit on top of the sticky residue of the base and top. I take the wrap with my tweezer and I just peel away the wrap from the paper. Do this very gently because it's very thin. Peel it away very gently and apply it on the nail. Now I use my thumbs to put it in place. The wrap is quite flexible so you can pull it out and put it into place pressing it down. Make sure you have it covered completely. It's easy nail art but you need to take your time to get a fabulous result. When you're happy, cure it completely for 30 seconds in the twin light. This depends on the top gel you use and of course the type of light. Okay, the wrap is glued tight and under the nail you can see a little residue of the wraps. You need to remove this very easily with a coarse sharp file. With an emery board you just go underneath the nail removing the excess wrap and remove possible dust. Make sure your surface is always dust free. Because the wrap is quite fragile and delicate, we need to make sure that the wrap is sealed in completely and that the client has satisfaction for three to four weeks. I prefer to use the UV top gel, the top gel from the jar, as a first protective layer over the wrap. Really cover it in, wrap it in UV top gel and cure for 90 seconds. This coat of UV top gel is the protection of the wrap, but to make sure you have the highest shine and extra protection, I'm going to finish it with the Supreme Finish. This gives a brilliant high gloss shine. I really love this. So I'm first going to apply it on top of the UV top gel. When everything is perfect, go for a complete cure into the twin light. Well, the design is finished and the top gel is cured and I'm very curious of what you think of the end result and as you can see the wrap is completely covering the nail it's tied around the cuticle I really like this nail super easy but don't go too fast take your time I hope you enjoyed this I hope to see you at the Nail Talk Live event perhaps during my workshop on Saturday the 14th of September at 3 o'clock I will show you how to work with wraps and you can try it yourself. See you next time. Bye bye. So really cool and really easy. Do you want to have a chance to win all Charissa Sweeties, all 12 colors? Then send in your best gel polish nails photo. Send it to info at nailtalklive.com because gel polish will be our topic of next week. And the pine didn't mention the new seduction accessories. I really love them. This is a small armrest in a cool, soft bag. And you know, we were talking about the hygienic part. Well, there's an extra pillowcase. 
so you can wash it and then change it when another customer comes. We also have it for the magnetic, so with a magnetic lo logo, also with a pillowcase, which is removable, which you can wash, and an extra one inside. And uh, talking about cute pink stuff, what do you think about this apron? I really love this apron, as it is a really smooth surface with a small logo of magnetic on it. And then, of course, who doesn't love pink towels? We have pink magnetic towels with the logo on both sides of the towel. So when you hang it up, you can see the logo always. I truly love these new seduction accessories. So then it's time to go back to Pepine and Debbie. Yes, that was quite a full program today with a lot of products that we had to cover. Yes, a lot. Talking about them <laughs> takes some time, finding them takes some time, and then on Saturday when we l actually launch them, it's always, uh, uh, we're very... Crossing our fingers. Yeah, crossing our fingers just that we excited. made the correct <laughs> choices. <laughs> yes, but I think we absolutely did. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, or Aukje already said it, next week we will do a show about gel polish. Yes. And we have our special guest, uh, Milena. She is all into gel polish. She knows everything about it. And we have a different person behind the yes. desk. Because Aukje is on vacation. And we have Wendy. Yes, Wendy will uh, take Aukje's place. And it will be the first time for her in the English version, also for Milena. Uh, but a show about the do's and don'ts with gel polish. So, see you next week, see you Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Nail Talk Live. Bye.